guests today, please stand when I call your name. Dr. John Dever, president of the college. Dr. Susan English, Vice President of Ac Academic Affairs. Mr. Paul Long, Interim Dean of Health Professions. Now our nursing faculty and staff who are in attendance today, please stand when I call your name. Karen Lynch. Crystal Clark. Ajina Rashid. <laughs> Michelle Paxton. <laughs> Mary Lou Wilder. <laughs> and Annette Bracey. <laughs> We'd also like to recognize our academic advisors that are not in attendance today, Maggie Haley and Linda Hubbard. And also what we'd like to recognize our administrative assistants for who we could not function. Mitzi Williams and Chris May. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. These dedicated professionals work extremely hard to provide the students with the foundation they need to become excellent nurses. At this time, I would like to invite our Dean, Paul Long, to the stage. Good morning, and good morning to everyone. Dr. Dever, members of the President's Cabinet, college board members, family, friends, distinguished guests, and most importantly, those that we've gathered to honor this morning, our students. They are the Thomas Nelson Community College Fall 2019 graduates of our nursing program. Join me in giving them a round of applause because they're the reason we're here. So forgive me, but I'm going to try to speak directly to them. Every semester, we welcome a diverse group of aspiring healthcare professionals into our profession of human service, care, empathy, and healing into the world of professional nursing. Each of your graduates are entering this noble and humble, humblest of professions with new knowledge, skills, experiences. You do this most of all with trepidation about how effective and safe you will be in the coming years. And for some of you, this accomplishment is not just changing your life, but is the future of your entire family. Some of you are first-generation college students. Some of you are first-generation health practitioners. Some of you will be the first to embark on this journey. Whether you are the first with a generation to carry on a tradition a legacy. One thing is true about each one of you. You've had success, you have successfully completed one of the most demanding and rigorous allied health care programs, and you've done that, and you can call yourselves nursing school graduates. You have endured challenges, sleepless nights, a rigorous program that many will never understand. You've survived countless high-stakes exam questions, countless classroom lectures, labs, clinicals, simulations. <clears throat> You've seen life at its best as well as at its worst. You have bonded in friendship and will always share a special bond with your classmates. Had you known now what, had you known then what you know now, you likely would have purchased stock in Panera, <laughs> Starbucks, and Chick-fil-A. As I close, I want to leave you with a little bit of advice that will help you stay as humble throughout your career as you feel sitting there right now. Show gratitude. You would not be sitting where you are today without a lot of support from your family, friends, and classmates. They sacrifice to make this dream a reality. You will not complete your career without the support of your family, friends, coworkers, and classmates. Rise above. Rise above the pettiness that you will encounter in the workplace and find the positive in everyone you encounter. 
Every member of the team has something to contribute. And always remember, everyone deserves a second chance to make things right. Have integrity. Live your lives and conduct your nursing practice with integrity. You will make mistakes. That is the true meaning of lifelong learning. When you do, own them. Learn from them. Make them right. Become a better person, practitioner, co-worker, friend, and family member by not repeating them and helping others to learn from those mistakes. Have empathy. Always remember your knowledge is just that, yours. You will encounter many with more knowledge, earned credentials, and many other accolades than you currently possess. However, you will also encounter many who possess less knowledge, less accolades, and less credentials than you. You are encountering a human being, often during the worst time of their life. Remember that they are just that, they are human, and they will deal with raw emotion, injury, illness, healing, loss, and emergencies in different ways. This is not truly ever directed at you. You have to have empathy for your patients, their families, friends, and coworkers. Life is hard and it tests us every day. Your empathy becomes your signature to each one of your family, friends, patients, and coworkers. Life balance. Take care of yourself. Work-life balance is important. Nurses are famous for shortchanging themselves and not making themselves and their families a priority. It is your nature you want to help. That is why you are sitting here today. You cannot help your patients if you do not take care of yourselves. Remain humble. No task is beneath you. Don't ask others to do what you would not be willing to do yourself. You will work with nurse aides and techs and students throughout your career. Teach them the right way. Lead them. Mentor them. Help them grow. As you pay it forward, so too will they. Have fun. While you will see the worst that life has to offer in your career, you must always find a bright side. You have not chosen a job. You have chosen a career. Or better yet, it has chosen you. It is a calling to care. Make it fun. Enjoy the holidays, the camaraderie, and the laughs. Always laugh hard. Always cry harder. The fun days will far outweigh the tough ones. Give a smile and do not be afraid to hug someone. You never know what someone else is experiencing. Your smile, your hug, your kind gesture just might be that gesture that gets them through their situation, their day, or restores their faith in humanity. Finally, never stop educating yourself. The medical field is ever-changing, and you must always remain dynamic. You must always improvise, adapt, and overcome to accomplish your daily mission. I cannot make promises to you However, I am comfortable telling you a few things that I'm sure you have already found. You have entered a profession that will pay you for your services. However, you have also entered a profession that will allow you to perform those services as a volunteer to help those who need it. There will always be someone in need of your services, from the first breath to someone's last. You will have a profound effect on someone's life. And you will never have two days exactly alike in your entire career. Thank you and congratulations to each one of you. And congratulations to all of you who have provided the support, care, and love that each one of them has needed to sit where they are today. With that, I'm actually going to deviate from the program slightly, and I would like to invite 
Dr. Susan English, our Vice President for Academic Affairs and Workforce, to the stage. And I would like to invite our nursing program heads, Dottie Wentworth and Crystal Clark. And while they're making their way up here, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to invite our next speaker, the President of Thomas Nelson Community College, Dr. John Dever, to the stage. We would like to recognize our president, Dr. Dever, this month he's retiring, so we wanted to give him a little special recognition from our nursing program. We would like to present Dr. Dever with our Thomas Nelson nursing pin as a thank you for all your support for our nursing program over the years. Thank you so much. Dorothy, I was not being long. I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, it has been a great pleasure over the past year to attend as president, to attend all of these pinning ceremonies that occur at the end of the fall and uh, end of the spring semester for our nursing classes at Thomas Nelson. I take such pride, as do all members of our college community, our faculty, staff, fellow students, members of the college board, in this particular program. As Dean Long indicated, and students, I don't have to tell you this, it's one of our most rigorous and demanding, it's arguably our most rigorous and demanding program that we have. Uh, it takes a lot out of you, many hours spent with the books, many hours spent in clinicals, many hours spent practicing procedures that you have that are above and beyond what our students typically do. You've done it successfully, you've made it, you have completed the Associate of Applied Science degree in registered nursing. Let's give him a hand. You've done it in the classroom. You've done it in your lab and clinical settings. And you've demonstrated, perhaps most important, the values and behaviors appropriate for being a nurse. Uh, and that's something very, very, very special. Because you're, the career that you're entering is highly regarded by society. And because you are going to be in a position, as Dean Long indicated, to help people at their most vulnerable points, you will be there at interacting with them both as a professional who has the skills and knowledge to assist them, but as one human being to another offering comfort and support. When you combine those two things together, it's very, very powerful, and it's going to give you a lot of satisfaction as you pursue your career, because you know that you truly have made, made a difference. You enter a profession that is, has a distinguished lineage and a well-established set of traditions as represented today by this pinning ceremony, and that culminates at the end of the ceremony with the Florence Nightingale Pledge. The time that you've spent at Thomas Nelson, you've learned a lot, but I don't have to tell you, you got to keep on learning. <laughs> Science, uh, medical research, technological advancements, 
advancements in procedures and understanding. They keep changing year by year, and it will be up to you to do that. Maybe 30 or 40 years ago, it was pretty much going to be the same. It's no longer that way. And so I ask you to continue to prepare to be a, uh, to a continuous learner. And I hope that many of you, if not all, will find occasion to move on to the next level of academic accomplishment, a bachelor's degree, uh, a BSN, a Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. As you know, Thomas Delson has wonderful relationships with the universities in our area, and we're, we're prepared to support you uh, uh, as you as you move on from that. Whatever your future holds, I know that you'll stay true to, to the foundational values that you've learned from your dedicated nursing faculty and others who've been a part of your education at Thomas Nelson. I know, of course, that you are deeply appreciative of all the support that your family and friends have provided for you. This is a great day of celebration. And at the end, you will express your core commitment to this profession in the concluding words of the Nightingale Pledge, to devote yourselves to the welfare of those committed to your care. That's your commitment. We're so happy for you. We're so proud of you. Congratulations. I now would like to ask our Chief Academic Officer, Dr. Susan English, Vice President of Academic Affairs and Workforce Development, to come and speak. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Sometimes when people are speaking, they say, I'm between you and lunch. Well, this time I'm going to say I'm between you and the pen. <laughs> so I'll make it brief. What is a chief academic officer? What does that mean? Uh, people ask that all the time. I am so delighted to be here um, because um, I have the best job ever to support the resources that help get you here. Um, on as far as Thomas Nelson goes. I have the privilege of working with your fabulous faculty um, and all the other programs. And so we work really hard to make sure that you've had a fabulous experience. The two gentlemen in front of me have shared many, many words of wisdom and a lot about your program. So I'm going to take a moment to speak as a mom and as a patient. And I'd like to just start with Nan's thoughts, you know, um, we did not teach these folks to care or to have empathy. And I encourage you to pull that out of your pocket every day, every day. When you are working with your patients, um, for me, the person that usually most makes being the mom in a, in a professional health setting um, is the nurse who comes over and says, you got this, mom. So I encourage you, as Paul said, reach out, hug folks, be that strength for them when, when they are in their most horrible spot. I also ask you to think about the experiences you had in your, in your time here. You weren't alone. And so when you're out working, as, as um, Dean Long said, there is a team. And so... I know you've had opportunities here at the college to participate with EMS or participate with other allied health programs. You are a team. And so when you're in those trenches, realize that everybody's got a role to play um, and, to, and to lean on each other. I see people nodding like, oh my gosh, don't make me go by myself. That's right. <laughs> There'll be people there. It's going to be awesome. We're so, so proud of you. So, so proud of you. I just want to thank you um, for choosing Thomas Nelson. And finally, um, a lot of times a higher education program will say, well, now that you're done and, and you're almost an alumni, 
they might be asking for money. But what I'd like to do today, really, well, also, we, we could ask for money, but what I'd really like to do is after you are out and about and you're doing your thing, I want you to think about your faculty. Um, and if you made that connection and you think that teaching might be for you and sharing the experiences that you had in this difficult situation, I ask you to think about Thomas Nelson and being part of giving back in that way. And I thank you. Good luck and congratulations. That was awesome. Let's give them another round of applause. So, so wonderful. My name is Karen Lynch, and I am here to recognize each one of the students' success. And I will call up the individual graduate's name. And when I call their name, then the families will actually enter here on the left side of the stage, right where I am at. And you will have the pen given to you to place over the graduate's heart. That's where we want the pen to go. And then we'll have you leave the stage the opposite direction. 
Okay? So, Tara Adams. <laughs> Tara would like to thank her parents, Irene and Kenny, who are in heaven, for instilling in her to never give up, no matter what gets in your way, or puts a hold on what you're trying to accomplish, you finish what you get started. She also wants to thank her husband, Michael, for sticking with her through all the emotional rides. She would like to thank her three loves, Kenny, Colton, and Adeline, for giving her the strength to finish and for always putting a smile on her face when times get rough. Also, she wants to thank her extended family. Most importantly, Tara would like to thank Caffeine <laughs> for keeping her awake and wine for getting her through all the tough times. <laughs> Tara is being penned by her husband, Michael, and her children, Kenny, Colton, and Adeline. <laughs> Brianna Barnett. Brianna Barnett. <clears throat> Bree would like to thank her parents, Patty and Randy, for always supporting her dreams, even if she took the road less traveled. She would like to thank her sisters, Lauren, Isabella, and Gabriella, for their constant encouragement. She would also like to thank her husband, Ross, for being a pillar of strength and emotional support in good times and in bad. Lastly, she would like to thank her daughters, Indiana and Charlotte, for always being her inspiration to better herself. Bree is being penned by her mother, Patty, and her father, Randy, in spirit, her husband, Ross, and their two daughters, Indiana and Charlotte. Stella Batir. Stella would like to thank her mom for always praying for her, her family back in Kenya for always encouraging her, to her husband, her two boys, and friend Lisa for going on this journey with her, and for being patient. She would like to thank all Thomas Nelson faculty, classmates, clinical group members, and Mrs. Lynch, hashtag superstars. Last but not least, she would like to thank God for everything. Stella is being penned by Mrs. Lynch and her family. Ashanti Sana. Emma Beckerman. <laughs> Emma would like to thank her family and closest friends for being here today. She would like to especially thank her parents for pinning her and specifically her mother for never letting her fake sleep to avoid studying. <laughs> she is very thankful for each of you for being there every step of the way, good and bad, during this journey. And now you all can stop listening to her complaining about school. <laughs> Emma is grateful for finding her passion in nursing and can't wait to start her new chapter of a life as a nurse. Emma is being pinned by her mom and three say and dad Bill. Amanda Bobst. Amanda would like to thank her husband Donald for being patient with her throughout her schooling, helped keep their home a loving environment, and help with the financial burden of child care and household bills. She would like to thank her friends Deb and Kim who helped watch her children during clinical hours and stood by her side through stressful situations. She thanks her grandmother who, when lived with Amanda, would take care of the duties of the children and the house. Amanda would like to thank her parents and the rest of her family and friends who encouraged her, were there for her emotionally, and cheered her along as she went through nursing school. 
Finally, Amanda would like to thank her instructors and her fellow classmates who were there by her side every step of the way. Amanda is being penned by her two children, Emma and Riley. Caitlin Dishman. Caitlin would like to thank her amazing parents, grandparents, boyfriend, and colleagues for their unconditional love and support while pursuing her lifelong dream of being a nurse. She has been pinned by her mom and dad. She would also like to say thank you to her parents for the endless amount of coffee K-cups. <laughs> Elizabeth Drescher. Elizabeth would like to thank her family, Andy, Maya, and Lindsay, who have endured a paper-cluttered household for two years. Andy has been my calm during my storms, my smile during my stress, and my assurance during times of doubt. My daughters have kept our household full of excitement and laughter. Thank you for being the family I get to come home to. In every shift you work, remember to be patient as your patients are not patient. Elizabeth is being pinned by her daughter, Maya, who just happens to be a pretty awesome kid. <laughs> Jessica Gardner. Jessica would like to thank her friends and family for helping her along the way and their constant encouragement. She would like to acknowledge how grateful she is that they believed in her throughout the process of nursing school. Jessica is being penned by her parents. Jennifer Gray. <laughs> Jennifer would like to thank her family for their continued support over the past two years. They have been an integral part of her success, always offering encouragement when things got tough. She wants to give a special thanks to her husband, Wayne, through his hard work and dedication to Jennifer fulfilling her dream. She was able to to put all her focus on achieving this goal. Lastly, she would like to say thank you to her coworkers, fellow students, and the faculty for all their support throughout the years to aid in her success. Jennifer is being pinned by her mother, Carol, and her sons, Robert, Brian, and Charles. Mariah Hart. Mariah would like to thank her parents for their unwavering support while pursuing her academic goals.
She is grateful for the support of her peers and friends and appreciates you all accepting her extraness. <laughs> Mariah is being penned today by her parents and next door neighbor, Mrs. Catherine Kitty Williams, who retired after three decades of nursing. <laughs> Amber Harper. <laughs> Harper would like to say a special thank you to her family and friends and girlfriend for being here today and for the last few years. She wouldn't have made it without your patience, support, ramen, and care packages. <laughs> a very special thank you to Nan for being the best classmate, roommate, and friend throughout this extraneous journey. She wouldn't be the nurse or person she is today without you. Thank you to the entire graduating class of 2019. Amber is being penned by her parents, Daniel and Elizabeth Harper, her big brother, Justin, and her girlfriend, Marissa Lauer. Heather Hilton. <laughs> Heather would like to thank her children, Mackenzie, Reagan, and Chase, for being so understanding during this journey. She would like to thank her family for encouraging her to continue on this journey, especially her sister, Debbie, also a nurse, as she repeatedly reminded her that failure is not an option. She would like to recognize her mom, whose spirit has given her the strength and courage to take this journey. Finally, Heather would like to thank her fiancé, Ray, for being her anchor on this journey of a lifetime. Heather is being penned by Ray and her family. Susie Kaufman. Because of you, I am here being penned as a nurse. To my parents for your love, support, and provisions that made school nights easier. To my boys, reminded me to take a break. Tyler, for you making sure I drank my tea, and your hugs are my strength that kept me, keeps me going. To my family and friends for your words of encouragement and all that you've done for me, thank you. Susan is being penned by her son, Tyler.
Maria Kipp. Maria would like to thank Waylon for always being there for her. She couldn't have asked for a more compassionate and supporting partner during this journey. Also, her team fellow mates for always having each other's backs and for trying to remain positive throughout the hard times. Especially thank you to Susie Kaufman for sharing her home during Nursing 212, as well as the faculty. Maria is being penned by her other half, Waylon. Evelyn LaFleur. My biggest gratitude goes first to God, who allowed me to cross all the bridges to get to this actual place. Also, I want to thank my parents, especially my mom, who is my mentor, my counselor, and my prayer partner, who put her life on hold for me to fulfill this dream. Another important gold piece in my life is my sister, Marie Eng, who has always kept me motivated when life projects dark signals. Finally, I am so grateful to all my instructors for these two-year program who have done a tremendous job to make success happen. Eveline is being penned by her mother. Natalie Lisko. <laughs> Natalie would like to thank her parents and grandma for supporting her on the long, hard road to this moment. Rosa Kim, who always listened to her schoolwork troubles, and her fiance, Joe, for feeding her and taking care of her pets while she was studying long hours. She hopes to show them thanks now that she has the time to do so. Natalie is being penned by her mom, her daughter through school step by step, accompanied by her Aunt Joan, her nursing inspiration. Brandy Logan. Brandy would like to thank her husband, John, for being her rock and for never getting tired of Taco Tuesday, several days a week, <laughs> and her mom for uplifting her during the anxious morning calls on the way to school, as well as her friends and family near and far who encouraged her. Brandy is being penned by her loving husband, John. Amanda Mayavich. <laughs> Amanda would like to thank her dad for always being there and believing that she could do anything. She would like to thank her mom for all the pep talks and dealing with her sometimes grumpy mood and her grandparents for being there every step of the way. She would like to thank her best friend Savannah for always listening to her stories even when they weren't the most appealing, and all the hour-long Skype calls. She would like to thank her professors for believing in her, even when she didn't believe in herself. 
She would like to thank everyone for being patient and the ongoing support from her family and friends. She wouldn't have done it without you. Amanda is being pinned by her parents, Pete and Tina. Nan Nazda. <laughs> Nan would like to thank her friends and family for being here today and supporting her through this journey. A special thanks to her best friend Harper for standing next to her through this program and taking the leap into psychiatric nursing with her. Nan would also like to thank Rocky, her dog, for his unconditional love and cuddles after a long day. Finally, thank you to her graduating class. You all will be incredible nurses. Nan is being pinned by her aunt, Sandy Tidwell, and her cousin, Hallie Tidwell. Jenny Wen. Jenny would like to thank her parents, brothers, and sisters who have been with her every step of the way, and their encouragement has kept her on track and focus on her success. She would like to thank her husband, who has been there always when she needs and has helped her through those tough times in life. Last but not least, she would like to thank her instructors and fellow students for their friendship and professionalism. Jenny is being penned by her husband, parents, and sister. Sandra Patronicola. Sandra wants to acknowledge her best friend, steady force, and rock in the storm, her husband Tom. Without his constant support, meaning running the ship at home, driving endless practices, taking over countless weekend obligations, and filling in on all ends, this would not have been possible. Sandra is being pinned by her three children because she did it for them, Olivia, Noah, and Liam. <laughs> Katie Perez. Katie would like to thank her hubby John for his encouragement, offbeat memory aids, delicious home cooking, ability to fix anything that she breaks, and his indomitable patience with her pre-exam self. Also, Katie wants to thank Chris for her guidance, for being an amazing sounding board, and for exemplifying Katie's image of a nurse. Also, a huge thanks goes to the overseas to the parental units for their long distance support and witty words of wisdom. Katie has been pinned by her hubby John and her aunt Chris, a retired registered nurse. <laughs> Michelle Peterson. Michelle would like to thank, 
would like to thank her husband, Daniel, who can't be here today due to military obligation, um, but for encouraging her to never give up. Her sons, Doc and Dylan, for leaving her alone when she needs to study. <laughs> her mother-in-law, Valerie, for helping out in the house, her fellow nursing students for their friendship. Lastly, the Thomas Nelson nursing staff for making her dream come true. Michelle is being penned by her sons, Doc and Dylan. Autumn Plummer. Autumn would like to thank her mom and her aunt for helping her through the program with their experiences being nurses. She would also like to thank her best friend for always encouraging her and believing in her. Lastly, she would like to thank her friends in the program who have been with her every step of the way. Autumn is being pinned by her mother, Tina. <laughs> Mia Schoenfeld. <laughs> Mia would like to thank her friends and family, especially her Ohana family, for supporting her world, uh, supporting her through late nights, early mornings, and the days that seem to sometimes run together. Mia would especially like to thank her husband, Seth, and her mom, Trinidad, for making sure she could get through school. Mia is being pinned by her father, Malcolm Rothstein, who has always remembered to believe in her, even when she didn't. Michelle Scott. Michelle would like to thank her fiancé, Jack, for being her cheerleader for the last two years and helped her push through the nursing program. She would also like to thank her mom, Donna, and her future mother-in-law, Lisa, for helping her succeed after giving birth to two children during the nursing program. Michelle is being pinned by her fiancé, Jack.
Carissa Smith. Carissa would like to thank her husband, Ashton, for being her rock during these last few years and for going the extra mile to help entertain their son, Eli, when she needed to work on assignments in peace. She also wanted to say a, spe a very special thank you to her parents. Without all of their support over this last year, this dream would not have been poss a possibility. Carissa plans to further her nursing education by pursuing her BSN. She has been penned today by her husband, Ashton, and her son, Eli. Hannah St. Mary. <laughs> Hannah would like to thank her mom and dad, two sisters, and her beagle, Beamer, for loving her so much and supporting her on this journey to get here. She would also like to thank her fiancé, Zach, for being her biggest fan. Hannah is being pinned by her mother, Kathy, and father, Kevin. Juliana Snyder. <laughs> Juliana would like to thank her family and friends for their constant support and encouragement. She is especially grateful to her fiance, Brandon, for being her second alarm clock and for making sure groceries were in the fridge. Also, her mother, Carolyn, for being the best mother, friend, and counselor, and for always encouraging her to be her very best self, no matter what. Juliana will be penned by her mother, Carolyn, and her fiancé, Brandon. Nikki Stewart. <laughs> Nikki would like to thank her parents, Sharon Stewart and Joseph Matthews Jr. III, for bestowing the wonders of knowledge upon her at an early age. Without the foundation of knowledge and real-life examples of hard work, she wouldn't be the determined, strong-willed person she is today. To the late Estella Stewart, her maternal grandmother, she thanks for showing her life is to be lived and the world explored. May she rest in power. She would also like to thank her paternal grandparents, all her uncles and aunts and cousins for their time, knowledge, and love that they shared and showered with her. Nikki would also like to thank uh, DJ Nick, James, and Snickers for putting up with quality time and being cut for all-nighters, deadlines, and providing encouragement. Nikki thanks all the Thomas Nelson faculty and staff for being themselves on this journey. Although her family couldn't make it, they know that they're proud. A special thanks goes to her significant other, Officer James Burr, Jr., for telling her quitting school is not an option. You're going to pass that test and embracing her when she couldn't keep it together. Felicia Still. Woo! 
Felicia would like to thank her sister, Kiki, for helping her with the house chores when she had to study or work on clinical paperwork. She would like to thank her family and friends for their prayers and encouraging words. She would like to thank her son, Azura, for being her biggest motivation in life. Felicia is being pinned by her son, Azura. Jasmineke Walker. <laughs> Jasmine Monique would like to thank God for getting her where she is today. She would also like to thank every one of her family members and friends for their listening ears when she needed to vent. Comforting shoulders when she needed to cry, and their encouraging words when she needed love and support through this long journey. She couldn't have done it without you. She is being pinned by her parents and her brother. Andrea Wolcott. Andrea would like to thank her parents, family, boyfriend, and friends who even from miles away have encouraged her throughout this journey. She would also like to thank them for dealing with her late night phone calls and providing their unconditional love and support. Andrea is being pinned by her parents, Fred and Mindy. Jovi Zamora. <laughs> Jovi would like to thank his family, his friends, his teachers, his classmates, his classmates' families, his classmates' friends. <laughs> Pretty much everyone with an earshot right now for helping him achieve his dream of becoming a Filipino nurse. Jovi was pinned by his mother, Luz Mercado, and his sister, Sarah. <laughs> Graduates, please rise for the lighting ceremony.
It is with great pleasure to present the class, nursing class of 2019.